In Get Wrecked China, Yelp adds alerts for businesses accused of racism. <laughs> oh, wait, that wasn't China. That was here in America. I thought that the Chinese were supposed to steal our intellectual property, not the other way around. <laughs> this is some social credit whack ash. Yeah. And it has a like creepy title, you know, the like race. It's like racist business alert. Where are we going to put the racist business alert badge next to the yellow star? Like, this sh- is crazy. This is, it's so, it's <laughs> it's so, so crazy. No. No. So no. Instead of leaving a bad review, you're going to be like, you know what? I'm going to say you were racist. They, they already weaponized Yelp. Yeah. People, activists already weaponized Yelp. And now, and the problem with this is that it's not even if somebody is actually found to be racist, it's if you're accused of racism, Uh even remotely accused of racism, and then they're gonna link to an article that talks about you being accused of racism, not whether or not it's actually true. It's so fucked. Yeah, it's bad, it's social credit. That's what, it's the Chinese system of social credit, which is terrifying. It's like the presumption of guilt, Mm -hmm. which Mm -hmm. is the exact opposite of supposedly our country's ideals. And our uh, civil society. (laughs) No. Uh. I know. This is is what's terrifying because I read a book this week. It was called The End of Democracy. There's a general theme of all the books that are coming out these days. Big red flags. And it's all about the Russia-China axis. And I felt like... Reading this book was the equivalent of looking down at Twitter and then looking up and getting hit by a bus because you walked <laughs> into the middle of the road and you didn't even see the bigger shit coming. Uh-huh. And you were I'm so focused on the culture war and the domestic and all the dumb shit happening in this country that I'm not even paying attention to what's going on in the South Pacific or how we should be defending Taiwan and helping Hong Kong and all of these bigger problems and Russia creeping into certain parts of the world and our inability to maintain democracy in our own country is going to make us ineffective in guarding democracy for other people around the world. And all I'm trying to say is that centrism is good for international relations. And it's important that we maintain civil discourse in the United States so that we can fight the bad guys outside of the United States. And I realize that sounds like a very, you know, American exceptionalist thing to say, but guess what? We are exceptional. (laughs) It's a miracle that we got any of this. So let's cling to it, fight for it, and fight for those in the rest of the world who can't. With me! And get wrecked, China! Anyway, I'm going to be one of the first ones in the camps when they invade, which they're going to. We're never even going to see it coming. Because we're not paying any attention. (laughs) Maybe we shouldn't have been fighting on Twitter so much about the fly on Pence's head and stupid things like whether or not Uncle Ben is racist or rice roni or whatever. (laughs) And should have been paying more attention to the fact that mm, authoritarianism is rising all over the world. I'm just saying. There are dozens of us. Dozens! 